Libra, hello and welcome to my channel. Do you know, as I was aligning my cards after our last read, I got the song The Final Countdown in my head and it didn't feel like it was for Gemini, it felt like it was for Libra. So The Final Countdown. Should we call this video The Final Countdown? You think it's going to be called The Final Countdown? There's a reason why those words came into my head. The Final Countdown. I'm going to be using the Unfolding Path Tarot by Athene Noctua. I'm also going to be using Wisdom of the Oracle by Colette Baron reed So Libra, August 2024. Libra, August final countdown <laughs> with the ace of wands this struggle to make something work i'm seeing rocky balboa the blood sweat and tears of working really hard and and facing your demons every day and in some cases battling your demons every day battling a world that doesn't feel easy battling society that feels like it's pushing against you but it's worth it. It's worth it with this Ace of Wands that wants to come in, which is a new start. And we get the Queen of Swords, which is strength, determination, ruthlessness. A breakthrough, a powerful breakthrough, a quite a sexy breakthrough, actually, as well with that. Cutting ties, cutting cords, striving for something coming out of a really difficult, I was going to say coming out of a really difficult period and we've got the Five of Swords, which is just that. There's also something with this card, this depiction of it that feels like she's gathering up her pain. She's gathering up her swords. That's interesting. The Three of Swords she's got under her elbow and she's got the Ace of Swords in the other one. And the Ace of Swords coming into the Three of Swords to break through. It's a breakthrough energy. We've got the Two of Swords next to her, which can be the choice. And it feels like, yep, yeah, I want to break through. I want to face my pain. I want to face my demons. I'm sick of it. I'm going forward. Um, we, wheel of Fortune, which is Fortune's Wheel. Things changing. Good. And there's, a, but there's this energy here of with the Seven of Cups. We look at her face. Um, <laughs> there's this energy of fickleness with it or not taking something serious enough. Have we been through something that's quite heavy and things are getting lighter, but it's a bit like, you know, when you've won the lottery after you've been poor and it's like a spend, spend, spend energy. Something coming in where you just need to take it a little bit more serious. And also as well, there's this illusionary energy. See what comes up. Three of Wands. Something coming in, taking charge of a situation. There's also somebody around some of you that very loose and fickle and they're very surface deep you, there's no depth there you try and have a, a, a spiritual conversation or a conversation on something else that's deep and they can't do it and there's this coming up for some of you it could be a friendship it could be a lover family member and it's like i'm done with that the high priestess um using your intuition Wisdom. Wanted a, not wanting a serious, 
Yeah. Do you know someone said, are you going to take this serious or not? It's that kind of a thing. <laughs> it's not that you want something serious. It's, are you going to take this? This is you talking to someone. Are you going to take this serious? Why are you always messing about? I want something strong and stable. Why are you always pissing about? Why are you always doing this? It's, I want something better than this. I'm sick of just plodding. There's a real need for something better. High Priestess Clarifier. Oops. King of Cups. Yeah. Who is it? You don't have to tell me. King of Cups and Four of Cups and Judgment. Someone's not been serious at all. They're not reading the room. They're not reading the signs. They're not... It's like you're wanting a King of Pentacles energy, but you're getting a King of Cups. And King of Cups can be kind, but not when you're trying to reach him, where he's too into himself or he's just not switched on. There's something more needed, a King of Wands or a King of... I feel you needed a King of Pentacles, strong, stable, dependable. Um, that's coming up for you as well. For some of you, a few of you, a group of you. Um, five of Swords, deep dive. And we'll move on to the Oracle cards. Yeah, Ace of Wands, breakthrough. And yeah, oh, yeah, you get your choice. The two, of, the two of Swords, you get your choice. You get to make a choice going forward. Ace of Wands, get these cards lined up and be professional. So you get a choice. You don't, if, if you're with someone, be it a friend, a work colleague, they, I mean, don't forget the kings can also be situations for some of you. It's not necessarily a king of cups energy, not a king of cups person, it can be an energy. It um, can be a situation. It can be that you want more out of your job and you're working with people that just want to eat, sleep, rave, repeat. You get to make a decision with the two of swords and it's a bold decision. Put that down for the title as well. Bold decision. See if I can fit all that on. Who knows? Right, we'll go on to your oracle cards now. Perfect peace, needing peace, needing to let go of something to bring about peace. Chaos and conflict is what you're letting go of. What's being taken from you, people are absorbing your energy, they're taking from your energy field, poised, needing to preserve your energy, needing to think about your own needs going forward, by the book. This is solid and you're needing something more solid and dependable that lifts you up, milk and honey. Regeneration needed for you, feeling like you need refiring up, needing your passions stirring for some of you. And that's not just about relationships, it can be about work, everything. Time to go, time to close the door when a part of your life. Why? Why am I going through this, needing to really think about things? There's also soul contracts coming up for you. And time for a nap to rest. Then you may be doing a lot of sleeping because when you sleep, you're upgrading and you're healing and needing to be happy, happy. So this is about happiness and what's going to light you up going forward. And that's your reading for August. Um, remember the next group healing is the 7th and 8th of August. It is an 8th, 8th portal. Chakra group healing, chakra balancing, chakra clearing. It's £22 per person. If you want more information for that and you've never seen my group healings before or experienced one, please watch the video. Go to the description box below and it says next group healing. Please watch for more information. Please watch that video. Um, there's my website below. 
There's my Instagram, my Facebook, there's my other YouTube channel, The Thackeray's. So if you like things like books and book talk and book talk, no, booktube, book talk, whatever. Um, vlogs, days out, we're currently going around big houses and doing stuff on that and history stuff. Then please do follow us on that. Thank you for watching. Please do like, comment and subscribe and share this video with your friends and family. And I will see you in the next one. Bye for now, bye.